DaVinci Resolve for noobs. Ron Koster asked me, hey Daniel, do you know if there's some kind of adjustment clip in Fairlight? Let me show you what he means. Now from the edit page, if you've got a bunch of video tracks and you want to affect them all at once, you can go over to the effects tab, grab an adjustment clip, drag it into a track above that track, stretch it out, and anything you do in this clip will affect everything below it. If you add animation, if you color grade, it'll affect all these clips. But when it comes to the audio section here, there is no adjustment clip that you could throw in here that would affect all of the audio tracks. There's a reason for that. Resolve has the Fairlight page. Now in the Fairlight page, this is an entire DAW or digital audio workstation. And the way a DAW works is it takes all of these individual audio tracks and it sends them all into what we call a bus. Now they call these master channels buses, which is pretty appropriate because they act exactly like a bus. A school bus can pick up a whole bunch of kids, put them all into one vehicle and take them off to school. So wherever that bus goes and whatever that bus does, all those kids are along for the ride and that bus controls them. But in a larger school system, you might have a whole bunch of different buses picking up different groups of kids. And each one of those groups is controlled by different buses that are all heading towards the same school. Well, in Fairlight, we can do the same thing. If you go up to the Fairlight tab and scroll down to bus format, you can actually add more buses just by clicking add bus. And you can see I now have bus two. Let me change the color so that we can make sure we see it down in the mixer settings. You can decide if that is mono stereo, if it's gonna have multiple channels for things like surround sound, and you can also rename that bus if you want to. Now, in this case, DaVinci Resolve has one bus pre-installed that is the master. Every single one of these individual tracks feeds through this main bus. And if I turn this bus down, it's the master volume. It'll turn everything else down. Now, once I've added that bus, you may not see it, but if I go down, left click on the mixer and stretch it out, there it is right over there. In each of these channels that are currently assigned to the master volume bus, I can decide if I wanna take several of those and put them through another bus first, just by clicking the bus menu, scrolling down and selecting that bus. So now all of these first three tracks are now being sent to bus two first, which will control the overall volume of these tracks together. And then that bus two is being sent from there out to the master. This can be really useful if you have a bunch of tracks that might be all people talking and you've got each of their mics balanced to one another, but you wanna take all of the mics up and down at the same time without taking down the volume of anything else in your project. You can go over to your new bus, hit this plus symbol, and you can do things like add reverb. And this will add reverb to every single track that's being sent through that bus. You can also do things like open up the EQ in that bus, and this will EQ all of those tracks together at the same time. You can open up the compressor limiter and add a little bit of compression or add a little bit of limiting to all of these vocals. This gives you much deeper control of the audio in your project.